What's up, you two? This is Hugo Team Nightmare here. I've just got back from YCS Bo Bochum uh, in Germany. The winner in the end was Miko Buna. I think that's how it's pronounced. Sorry if I'm wrong. Second place went to Eden Zamir. And top two was X Saber versus Dandy Warrior. Not the quick draw for our team, more of a dark control Dandy Warrior. Right, the main thing I managed to pick up was this lovely new playmat, Sun and Moon. Nice little sun, pair of moon, Sun and Moons in the corners. But more on my trades about that later on when I get round to it. Right, new deck that I've just got back to make is myself a Nishiria Bamboo Shoot deck. Start off with, we've got, I'm going to take you through it, Monsters, Spells, Traps. Synchro's are a bit short at the moment because I haven't really got around to thinking of one sticking there because of pineapple and an effect. But more about that later. Alright, starting off deck, we have one copy of Bird of Roses, Medicine Tap Station, and Destroy the Centre Graveyard. Switch on two tuners in defense switch from the deck. So in this deck, the uh, three tuners you can have are Spore, there's Cosmo Beat. And there is Naturia Rose Whip. Rose is the best one. And then it's got the Great Show and Shield effect of one spell on track per turn. Then we have two copies of Cactus Bouncer. One Italian, which I thought picked up whilst I was away. Quite a nice card. Uh, basically, a Royal Crash effect that doesn't cost. One is him and one other plant. It's not bad. And of course, the main plant card in a deck. Uh, Dandelion, two copies of, usual effect. Then the other main plant we have is Lone Fire Blossom, tribute one plant, switch on one plant from your deck. Now, the main feature of this deck, a Cheerio Bamboo Shoot, three copies. And this card's effect, but it's normal summoned by the effect, sorry, tribute summoned by the effect of a Neturia monster. The opponent can't activate any spells or traps whilst it's face up on the field. It does not, however, negate face up effects, though, so like your Burn of the Mighty, your Sword of the Light, Royal, Royal Decrees, all that stuff is still current, still going to be active, it'll only negate the new ones. And unfortunately, it's easily shut off just by effect failure. Discard it, and it gets it completely without its effect. So, uh, countless for that are uh, coming up further along. Right, so we're now into the main heart of the Neuturia monsters I use. Uh, I use two copies of Neuturia beans. One turn can't be by battle, and every time they attack it, they get burned to 500. So it's not bad. Helps get the uh, bamboo shoot out quicker because of keeping a the tribute there. Then Cosmo Beat. The fact is, when it's in your hand and you print normal summons or sets, you can special summon it from your hand. That's good for if they go on the first turn. Plus, it's one of the tuners in my deck. Easy to set up a quick pineapple, not pineapple, bamboo shoot. Right, talking of pineapples, I now have two copies of it here in my deck. The main reason I only run plants and one beast, really, is because of this beauty. While space on the field, all monsters are plants. If it's in your graveyard, it's got the tree-born frog effect. But you need to have no spells and traps, and everything monster in your graveyard must be a plant or a beast. Hence why limited monster types. And of course you can't have pineapple on the field when you try to use the effect. Good combo for this deck that I run is hand destruction in the standby phase with it. Because you discard it, special summon it, tribute it, pipe, bamboo shoots. Yeah, I think it's lockdown. Quite a good first game on, because in my locals there's quite a bit of hand destruction at the moment. So it gets that in there quite neat, nice and quickly. Then we've got two copies of Nisturia Rosewick. Nice big defence points, level 3 monster. Can't actually one spell slash trap per turn. So, quite a lot of negation. This Nisturia seems to be quite a bit negating, really, with our decks. Right, now a strange tip tech here for myself. Snipers. Once you turn to one plant monster on the field, select and destroy one face up card your opponent controls. That's not bad because it can, because 
eventually I'm going to develop this into having black garden in it so I can tribute my opponent's rose token summons to draw their own cards. And also the second effect, which is a bit, which is a bit plague, plague-ish, plague spread zombie that is, uh, when a part must start on the field, its control is destroyed whilst this card is in the graveyard. That's by battle or by card effect. That's one or more monsters, so like getting two bottomlesses, two, two monsters with a bottomless, it still works. Uh, you can switch on this card from your graveyard, but if you do, it's removed from play during the end phase. So quite a lot of like plague, and it's also a beast as well, so it still fits in the theme, and it's level one, making tuning a lot easier. Uh, if you the synchros, I'll show you later. Now, this one here is called Spore. Remove once per jewel. This is your graveyard. Remove one other plant type monster. Special summon it, and, it le and this card's level increases for the monster removed. So, as tuner, so it's not too bad. Easy to uh, access the higher levels later that you get uh, later on in the game. So, then let's go around to removing the other tuners that got, got put there, like Rose Rips and Cosmary. And this card is turned over at the moment because it's Titanial. I'm still waiting to receive one yet, so if you have any of them, could you please look at my... once on my folder down... on my channel down there? And... have a look at my trade binder over there, which will be updated again in a about, I'd say Monday would be the best date for me, it's up there after locals on Sunday. But if you get uh, uh, what the old one, please let me know as soon as possible. Now, spell cards. We have Dark Hole, staple for any deck room. Foolish Burial, useful for dumping like the spores, the dandelions, the pineapples, straight in the graveyard to get their effects as quickly as possible. And two gold sarcophagus. This is going to be changed into a pot of dualities when I get them. Unfortunately, I did have one from Nationals, but it did unfortunately get stolen. But the head judge there, when I was working with him, things is work, managed to work out who it is, so we're trying to get the card back now as soon as possible. Fingers crossed. The other card, quickly, whilst we're on about it, they've got taken was Archer Christia. Now, if you're interested in the Archer Christia, please let me know. Once again, down the bottom. Then I have two, it's back to deck now, this is. Two copies of Hand Destruction. Good card for a bit of draw power and discarding the cards you, you want in the graveyard. Like the pineapples, spores and dandies. And last spell card we've got is Monster Reborn. Not a bad card. Now, traps. Most people for Nishubias, they went for more of a speeding up the deck kind of routine, but mine's a bit more control. So I've got two copies of Chivalry. Uh, negate the effect of a monster's effect that activates in the battle phase and destroy it. So that'll protect my bamboo shoots from Rykos. And also stop searchers and Sangans. Then Deprison. I wouldn't run more, but I couldn't seem to find another one. This is mainly for stopping the high attackers, like Stardust, Thought Ruler, that kind of stuff. I should not thought all because thought we can stop it. Then divine rack. This is my main prop key card for the main key trap for the deck. It stops effect mailer quite nicely because that seems to be the only problem that this deck seems to have is once pineapple once bamboo shut off, every slum trap can then be reactivated again. Hence why I run through pineapples. Then a card called Ernest Warning. Just to let you know, this is a solemn warning. It's just German. Because I bought it in one of the boxes I got whilst I was out there. Quite a nice card. It's turned out to be near enough staple in any deck. It's a new solemn warning, basically. My opinion, better. Then Miracles. Then another rare card that I managed to pick up whilst I was over there, which I think might see a bit more playoff. Is this card, Mystical Ref Panel? In all the names, it's a bit German again. But if you want to know what cards it can negate specifically, have a look at my channel on my channel over there. I'll soon will have up a list of cards it can negate. 
He is for everyone, really, in my opinion. See what we can make out of it. Then, got to speed up now, because we're running out of time. Uh, two copies of Polynosis. Basically, another faith. Solemn. Placing these for warnings when I get a couple more. Then, Royal Oppression. Well, easy way to protect the two bamboo shoots is to get rid of the special summons that are evolved around it. Because most monsters that you use to kill it are special summoned, but there's special summon involved somewhere. So, Cyber Dragon, your Stardust, your Obelisk, your Gauze, they're all special summons. So, Oppression's not a bad card in there. Although it does stop Pineapple keep coming back and forth for a while. Last card of the deck is Solemn Judgment. Right, quickly on to it. Synchros, whilst I've got a bit of time left. Two copies of Black Rose Dragon. Now, this is an interesting deck here by me. The three unicorn monsters. I plan on running two copies of each. One English playset and one German playset. Of course, I'm missing one trifle at the moment. But, because of the beast tuners in their typhus, I thought I might as well have a little play and see what I'll get round to. Because Thunder Unicorn is quite easy to summon, and Voltic Icon is not too hard to summon, it just takes a bit more fiddling with that. But Lightning Tricorn isn't really summonable, it's just in there in case I'm against the beast deck. Because just, just to be on the safe side. And after those, we have. Give me a second and I'll pick them up. And the Truria Beast. I do want a second one of these if anyone's got one. Should have a second one on the way to me. Because uh, I've just done a trade with Team Nightmare. No, Team Nightmare. Uh, with Team Nightmare. I can't remember the team's name now, but I'll put a link to them in the bottom. It has been over a week now, so if you guys are listening to this, please email me as soon as possible to let me know what's gone wrong. Otherwise, I will be putting you on the bad trader list. And I will be t- giving details to everyone about you guys, unfortunately. I do not want to do that this quickly yet, though. Next one is Leo Drake. Just here, because he's a beast. And he's a nice level. And attack points. But apart from that, I wouldn't be using him if I can get some more beasts. There's more BC synchros out there. Then the last card of the deck is more of a plant one. She's Splendid Rose. And it's effect. Remove one plant in your graveyard. Make a post attack point zero till the end phase. And then second effect. If this card attacks during the same battle phase, I can move another plant. And half my attack till the end phase. And attack with Splendid Rose again. So it's not bad if you've got, if you kill a dandelion and two tokens appear to move a plant in your graveyard to attack a token. Gets more attacks in and clears the field quicker. Right, that's the end of my deck list, so if you'd like to rate, comment and subscribe and get back to me as soon as you can. Thank you.